South Korea has been waking up to bad economic news for weeks already, with domestic and global economic institutions announcing concerning outlooks for the Korean economy. But a planned supplementary budget, as well as growing optimism on U.S. China trade talks, are raising hopes that Korea's internal and external risks can be mitigated. Today, we go in depth on the current status of the Korean economy and other issues that could affect the country's market conditions. For that, we're joined. By Dr. Shin Sang Hyuk, Professor of Pan Pacific International Studies at Kyunghee University. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you. International agencies are giving out gloomy outlooks for the world's economy, and South Korea is mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. an exception. The Korea Development Institute also assessed South Korea's economy as sluggish. Mm -hmm. How do you assess Korea's economy now? Well, since uh, last uh, November, I mean, 2018, the Korean economy started to be slowed down uh, further than expectation. So uh, the current Korean uh, economic situation, I think, it is not it is in a bad shape. Well, we can think about the causes for the current economic situation. Well, there must be some external factors and internal factors. External factors, as you mentioned very briefly, the trade war between the USA and China has been a very negative factors, not only on the Korean economy but also the. The global economy. Well, considering economic structure, I mean the Korean economic structure, which is heavily relying on the uh, foreign trade, uh, the trade war between two uh, big uh, gi economic giants. Uh, they are also at the number one and number two trade partners of Korea. Well, the trade war between these two uh, big economic giants have been uh, given a very negative impact on the Korean economy. And another one is the domestic economy. Well, BSI, which is one of the uh, very important macroeconomy index telling the situation of the economy, has been uh, recorded very, I mean, dramatic decline since last, uh, I mean, November, December. So I think the uh, uh, consumption of the Korean Koreans have been reduced, and the uh, well. Some people criticize the government policy, such as 52 uh, work uh, mm. week system and the uh, minimum wage system. Mm. But we don't know yet. But certainly, uh, we can say that these policies has not, ha have not been implemented successfully so far. We have to wait further. But because of these kind of things, uh, the domestic Korean economy has been slowed down as well. So in a words, the Korean economy is right now facing quite strong challenges. It's quite concerning. The exact amount of Korea's planned extra budget is yet to be decided, mm -hmm. but reports suggest it'll reach up to six trillion won. Mm -hmm. But regardless of the amount, a big slice of the pie is expected to be injected to revamp the nation's sluggish exports. Do you think this is a healthy way to recover the nation's export growth? Well, I think uh, well the the government, I mean, physical policy has been one of the ways to overcome the economic, uh, I mean, difficulties. So, the uh, uh, the have the uh, supplementary budget means that. The government tried to solve the economic difficulties through the physical policy, uh, but the point is this: I mean, the government announced that they they are concerning. I mean, they are considering to have a six trillion. I mean, supplementary budget, and uh, two trillion one for the solving the fine dust uh, problems, which has been one of the uh, most serious difficulties in Korean society. And second one is that two or the, another two trillion one. Uh, the government tried to spend another two trillion one to uh, uh, solve the uh, uh, unemployment. I mean to create more jobs for young young Koreans as well as senior Koreans. And, and the government uh, is I mean planned to is planned to assign one trillion one to uh, help the uh, ventures and the small and medium size. Korean um, companies, I think, which is very important for the revitalization of the Korean economy. And the other one, actually, uh, about one trillion won, the Korean government tried to spend the, uh, this one for the, <coughs> excuse me, the fire damages caused by fire in the east coast of the Korean peninsula. 
So I think, well, one trillion one is, uh, I think, I think is not good enough. I mean, large enough, big, I mean, to uh, 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 revitalize the Korean economy. But I think it is quite meaningful because the government uh, shows, uh, I mean, the, their efforts to revitalize the Korean economy. So they can give some, the, uh, I mean, the, uh, make the people have some trust about government policy. I think the economy, uh, to have a very successful outcomes in the economy, trust, mutual trust between the people and the government is very, very important. I think I want to understand the supplementary budget as a first step to build such a kind of mutual trust between the government and the people. But the point actually, um, well, the, when we look at the, uh, the uh, remaining budget in 2018, uh, in the total remaining uh, budget available to the government for the supplementary budget in 2019 is 1.6 trillion won. That means government should have to issue about 4.4 trillion deficit, I mean, make up uh, the bonds, recovery bonds. So uh, we can say that uh, this, is the, this means what? The, the, the government debt increased. Uh, but I think considering the uh, our economic foundation of the Korean economy, I mean, it, it will be okay because mm -hmm. that the um, well, we have faced um, and we are facing the some economic difficulties, uh, but the economic fundamentals of Korea uh, has been uh, I mean built quite strongly over the last several years. So. I think the uh, uh, roughly 4.4 trillion won uh, the debt increase, uh, it will be okay. But the point which I want to concern, I mean, empathize is that if the situation goes on, I mean, for a while, I think it will be some some burden on the Korean economy. So, the what we can do right now is the government just try to, I mean, they should make every effort to rebound the uh, sluggish the Korean economy uh, with the full, with all available efforts. I think. So deficit covering bonds will have to be issued to finance the extra budget, but it wouldn't be a huge problem, no. at least not in the short no. term. No. Uh, the U.S.-China trade talks, which is considered as one of, like you said, one of the major external risks for the South Korean economy, is rather showing some good progress, according yes. to recent reports. And President Trump recently stated that he hinted that it could be wrapped up within the next four weeks. Mm -hmm. Do you think the two sides will be able to reach a deal that soon? Uh, we have to wait and see. I mean, we don't know exactly what's going on. Even, I mean, there must be some opinions that, oh, there was a kind of tactic to give a pressure each other, I mean, to reach uh, to an agreement uh, with their intention. Uh, but I think the uh, considering report released from um, both uh, governments. I think it is certain that they made some progress at the uh, trade talks. Well, according to the report, the Chinese government has made some concessions uh, in the dealing with the uh, uh, intellectual property right protection, which has been criticized by the, the USA government, I mean, the, the criticized Chinese government. And the another one is the uh, uh, tax, I mean, tariff issues. Uh, definitely, the USA want to, uh, I mean, I mean, they use tariffs as a way to reduce the trade deficit in the trade with China. But Chinese government said no. I mean, they insist that you should uh, the eliminate tariffs, which USA government imposed on about the 50 billion dollar worth of Chinese uh, products. Uh, I mean, last year, um, the immediately when as soon as they agreed on the uh, uh, the uh, agreement um, at the trade talk, but USA government uh, empathized that no, uh, we will consider it. I mean, because that 550 billion dollars, uh, I mean, uh, the uh, uh, worth uh, the products. I mean, imposement of the 25% tax on 550 uh, billion dollars uh, Chinese goods is compensation for damages which USA go uh, the companies they have had in the trade with the uh, China. So, it will be one of the hard issues. I mean, remaining sticky issues at the trade talk between two countries. But anyway. Uh, as I said before, intellectual property uh, right, uh, I mean protections, and then the enforced technology transfers, uh, in those things, I mean, and, and also increase the imports of the American products such as soybeans and energy products from USA. 
uh, those kind of things are uh, the, uh, the issues um, they made progress at the uh, trade talks. Now, you've mentioned in very specific detail about mm. what progress may have been made. But as a whole, do you think, how, how far do you think the two sides have reached? Uh, I think to answer your question, we have to uh, consider the pressures which both countries have had from the global community. Because the USA is number one economy in the world and China is number two. Because of trade war between these two economic giants, international great global trading I mean, the system has been I mean, destroyed. It. And then what I mean is that the uh, protectionistic uh, trading environment has been widely spread around the world. So, I mean, the, they had some needs to finalize their talk as soon as possible because otherwise they will face uh, additional economic difficulties because of the global economic difficulties, crisis. So they have such a kind of needs. Secondly, Practically speaking, I mean, actually, they have uh, some the losses because of trade war in the economies. I mean, USA uh, the uh, I mean has recorded some deficit. I mean, reduction in their trade volume, and then China also uh, lowered their targeted economic growth rates in 2019. Uh, so certainly, they have also the needs domestic reasons to, uh, I mean, finalize the trade talk between two, um, and between of them, I mean, at the talk between two countries. Now, the WTO forecasted global trade would slow to 2.6 percent this year mm -hmm. amid the U.S.-China uh, standoff. Would this forecast be valid even if U.S. and China strike a deal sooner than expected? Well, I think the uh, even um, even even the uh, these two uh, countries uh, uh, find a solution. Uh, I mean, at, in the uh, I mean, the, for the difficulties in the trade between two countries, we have to wait and see because I mean, whether the global economy could be revitalized uh, in a short short time, short time period. Because, you know, uh, the after the trade war started between two countries. As I already explained, the protectionism, trade protectionism has been widely spread. EU and Japan and even Korea, well, we are very concerned about the protectionistic trade environments. And uh, as soon as the uh, trade war between two countries, I mean, U.S. and China, ends, uh, maybe the other countries will uh, see the responses from the global economy. What kind of the influences will be given on the global economy from the end of the trade war? The market can respond quite differently from the, what we expected. So people, I mean, many countries will wait uh, the responses from the market um, coming from the end of trade war between USA and China. So I think the, we have to wait and see what kind of the real impact will be given on the global economy from the end of the trade war between USA and China. All right, let's see how things unfold. Thank you, Dr. Shin, for your insights today. My pleasure.